Welcome to the IT and Digital Resources in Teaching Foreign Languages, lecture number 19 and 20. Development of reading, writing, speaking, listening comprehension skills using new information technologies in teaching foreign languages. E speaking, voice finger, tasty, pixton, as Ludwig, Isabel Peretz, word art, word it out, Gil Gesro Vilex, rewordify. Outline for today's lecture. The first question, development of speaking skills using new information technologies in teaching foreign languages, e-speaking, voice finger, tasty, pixton. And the second question, development of reading, writing, listening comprehension skills using new information technology in teaching foreign languages. Ask Ludwig, Isabel Peretz, word art, word it out, geo gesra, vilex, rewordify. The use of technological aids like computers has become a significant feature in English language teaching classrooms. Teaching aids such as tape recorders, VCRs and projectors were used in the classroom for effective teaching until some time ago. However, during the recent past, effective teaching strategies have shifted to internet-based learning. Usage of technology-enabled strategies is made possible through using computers. There is no doubt that using the Internet for language teaching will occupy the central role in ALT and learning for quite some time to come. The 21st century generation continues to grow up with technology and students of this generation use technology with ease. The use of technology has changed people's abilities to access information, including receive communication, and has got a great impact on students' learning abilities. There are many technological tools that could be used in classrooms to improve English as well as the technology skills of the students. One urges that the use of technology in English classrooms, especially for English as foreign language students, has many advantages. Students can improve communicative skills such as listening, reading, writing, and speaking. It enables students to communicate worldwide through the Internet, search for information online, use software to learn skills, and evaluate them, publish their work, and read technology texts. In addition, he points out that integrating technology in language classrooms changed the learning approach from a behavioral learning approach to a constructive learning approach. Technologies such as the computer, smartphone and internet give a significant opportunity to the students and teachers to access learning materials. ICT in education view refers to information and communication technology such as computers, communication facilities and features that variously support teaching, learning and a range of activities in education. It has been revealed as a great tool for educational change and reform. Technology is created to ease people's works and communication, including in the education field. Moreover, technology is not something that students need to be separated from. It helps students to get involved and learn according to their interests. It is clear that the use of ICT in education, especially in English language teaching, has been widely declared as a tool for language teaching and learning around the world. The revolution of technology brings many innovations such as transforming the function of computer into small devices such as the smartphone, tablet, iPhone and etc. The concept is packing all functions of the computer to be more mobility and accessibility. This revolution gives more opportunity to the user to get comfortable in accessing their devices whenever and wherever. Learning by using mobile-based media has been known as MOL mobile assisted language learner. MOL gives opportunities to the teacher and students to get ease in teaching and learning. It is designed to combine functionalities of mobile devices, learning management system and the need for a close connection between teachers and students. 
It helps the teacher to get easy in accessing learning source, especially for English subject. The Internet is also kind of a development of technology. It is the most significant source to find out authentic materials to teach English. Listening skill is one of the English skills that should be mastered by the students, but the fact is listening skill is almost neglected in teaching and learning process because of many reasons such as limitation of listening media and time provided for teaching and learning listening. E-speaking. E-speaking is a window app that lets you control your personal computer with 100 built-in voice commands. Its speech-to-text feature lets you write in any text editor with 26 commands for dictation, navigation, edit the text, add formatting, and add punctuation, numbers, symbols, and etc. It includes the list of commands and you can add your own or edit them and train words so the program responds better to your voice. Speech recognition is a technology that allows the computer to identify and understand words spoken by a person using a microphone. The ultimate goal of the technology is to be able to produce a system that can recognize with 100% accuracy all words that are spoken by any person. Even after years of research in this area, the best speech recognition software application still cannot recognize speech with 100% accuracy. Some applications are able to recognize over 90% of words when spoken under specific constraints regarding content and previous training to recognize the speaker's speech characteristics. Computer software that understands your speech enables you to have conversations with the computer. These conversations would include you and the computer speaking as comments or in response to events, input or other feedback. Speaking is easier and more initiated than selecting buttons and menu items. Human speech has evolved over many thousands of years to become an efficient method of sharing information and giving instructions. Useful when accessing systems through the pay telephones they, that don't have attached keyboards. Voice finger Voice finger allows you to control your Windows personal computer vocally and includes a dictation feature. Open your document in any editor, turn on the dictation features and start talking. This disables the keyboard and mouse by default, but you can turn them back on again with voice commands. You have control over the settings and you can tune it to your voice. At first, voice finger was developed by Robson Kozendi for personal use and just afterwards he decided to make it as an application available for download. He acquired repetitive strain injury in 2009 and early on he started to use Windows speech recognition, which is the default speech recognition that comes in Windows Vista, and later to avoid to use the keyboard and, and mouse. Voice finger allows all the Windows speech recognition commands you already use and adds all his commands upon it. Voice finger allows complete control of the keyboard with short commands to navigate the cursor, type, hold and hit keys and buttons. Tasty Taste is a speech recognition software package developed and sold by VoiceTag Group Inc. for Windows personal computers. The most recent package is version 3, which supports Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 64-bit editions. Earlier versions of Taste supported Windows Vista and Windows XP. Personal computer game, video games play by voice controlling PC applications and programs by voice and creating speech commands to trigger a browser to open web pages or trigger the Windows operating system to open files, folders or programs are Tasty's programs features. Earlier versions of Tasty included a little dictation feature that is eliminated from the latest version. 
Voice Tech Group Inc. was founded in 2005 as an Ohio corporation primarily concerned with the research of semantic search and voice research. Voice Tech Group Inc. released Tasty Speech Recognition 1 as the first multi-feature speech recognition product in 2005. Version 2.2 released in September 2010 added dictation, keyboard shortcuts that also allow custom setups for PC gameplay and advanced speech API and the ability to turn off and on groupings of speech commands. Version 2.4 released in November 2011 improved dictation and fixed bugs. Version 3 released in July 2013 eliminated some features including dictation and added features to gameplay by voice and control of application and programs by voice. Its features. Use Tasty to control PC video games using Tasty Game Application Speech Commons Profiles. Use Tasty to open websites, directors, files and programs. Use Tasty to control virtuality, any desktop application or program using Tasty Game Application Speech Profiles. Backup game application speech commons to achieve them or transfer them to other computers running Tasty. You can create up to 300 custom speech commands and associate them to open an operating system action, program, website, file or directory. You can share your game application profiles for your favorite programs with others or download profiles created and shared by others. Users can edit or delete any built-in custom speech commands or game application profiles. Users can customize Tasty by choosing what words trigger speech commands or what those speech commands do. Users can control operating system functions by speaking to their PC. This includes speech commands such as mouse click and mouse double click, which eliminate the need to click the mouse. Also, Go Calculator, Go Control Panel, Go Windows Explorer, Go Screen Display, Go Media Player, Refresh Browser, Go to My Desktop, go to my documents and etc. Back up your custom speech commands to achieve them or transfer them to other computers running Tasty. Tasty comes listened to by default for US English but you can change Tasty to listen for Canadian, Australian or UK English. You can mute Tasty without closing Tasty so that you can talk on the phone without Tasty listen to you. Users can set their mouse as right-handed or left-handed mouse. Users can run Tasty on a recent Mac by installing desktop virtualization software such as Parallels, then the Mi, Mi S Windows operating system, and then Tasty on top of Windows. Tasty works on Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, and Windows 10. You will also need a microphone to use Tasty. Pixton. Pixton allows teachers and students to construct their own comic strips. There are a variety of comic strip layouts, numerous character and background choices, and a ton of creative options. This is a great learning center tool that allows students to construct their own knowledge and display it in a way that is meaningful to them by allowing them to create comics representing their concepts and ideas. Pixton is, is accessed through an account that can either be held by a school, district or individual teacher. The accounts do cost money, but the pricing is very reasonable. If you are looking for a new and creative way to engage your students and access their knowledge and understanding, I strongly recommend checking out Pixton today. Pixton is very easy to use. It's relatively initiated when constructing comics because all of the icons have images indicating what they do. For example, the icon with the face can be clicked to add a character. Similarly, click the icon with a picture on it to add a background image. The Pixton website has a tutorial that runs the first time to you access the program. You can also access the tutorial through the help center by clicking on the question mark icon at the bottom. Ask Ludwig Guru. Ludwig Guru is a database made of millions of correct English sentences searchable through customized algorithms to get the best results possible. The user interface is clean to and easy to use. You can check if your sentence is correct by typing it in the search box, 
then you will see a number of results in context to compare your sentence with the others. Ludwig also features a Google Translate plugin that allows the user to type a phrase in any language and get it translated into English. Isabel Peretz. This site has been developed and maintained by the Spanish secondary English teacher Isabel Perez Torres. There are four main blocks of materials. Methodological materials related to call, workshops, resources, and etc. Materials developed by the students, writings, email projects, and etc. Specific materials designed and developed by myself and by some teachers attending my workshops, treasure hunts, and the happy verbi gang hot potatoes exercises and etc. Link pages to all kinds of selected resources. The site wants to present an eclectic approach and means to integrate all possibilities offered by the use of computers in the classroom. The approach is also varied in terms of subjects and of culture, social and personal values. WordArt you may wish to sign up in order to have better options for download and embedding files. You can use Create Now and then plan to screen capture and save as an image so you can insert it into your wiki or leave your text portfolio as an image. Enter your words or import from another website. You can change the fonts, colors and styles individually to get more emphasis on keywords. Select shapes from shapes menu. Continue to select fonts layout and style. Click on Visualize to view the results. GeoGesra. Teachers can use GeoGesra as an extension activity in geography or world cultures classrooms or as a media literacy and critical thinking exercise in any content area. It can serve as a prompt for teaching and learning both online and print-based research skills and techniques, or as inspiration for student design games using free online resources like photo collections. With dedicated player and more in-depth small group or whole class discussion, teachers can use GeoGesra to build students' background knowledge about geography and places that are new to the students or even to the teacher. Teachers can also connect with classrooms in their schools or from around the world to share challenges and build relationships among students. GeoGesra is an addictive puzzler with a version on the web as well as Android and iOS apps that tasks students with guessing the location of Google Street View and mapperly images from around the world. By investigating the image area, scoring it for clues and thinking critically about the, what they see, students work to narrow down the in the world it might be. GeoGuestry is less straight instruction and more a platform for cultivating 21st century skills. It can be a great addictive, even motivator for thinking about geography and culture, and for building reasoning and critical thinking skills in self-directed small group or whole class settings. Now we will speak about Vilex. Creating an AdLab account, first of all, go to vilex.com, click the red sign up button on the right side of the page or create an AdLab account in the navigation bar. Then fill out the registration form and then create an AdLab account. Verify your login information by clicking the link that was emailed to you. And then you can now log into Vilex. Participating in a Vilog. To add comments to a video, click into the text box below the video player. A time code will automatically be generated marking that point in the video. You can manually change your time code in case you discover it wasn't quite as precious as you wanted it to be. Clicking on a time code in the discussion panel will take you to the corresponding point in the video so you can see the comment in the context it was made. If you are a moderator of a Vilog, you can add poll and multiple choice questions to your discussion. To do this, click the Q&A button below the main text box on the play page. As with all comments, 
poll multiple choice questions are associated with a time code that you can manually change. Creating a dialog. Click create on the top navigation bar. Then you can upload a video from your computer and one from YouTube or choose from your collection. Once you have selected a video, you need to define your Vilog. You suggest you use descriptive titles that clearly convey what the Vilog is about. In the text field, provide some directions for the participants, what to look for in the video, context and questions to keep in mind how to get involved in the discussion. When you are done, click on the Create Vilog button. You can now set permissions to the Vilog or click on Go to Vilog and come back later to edit these permissions. Setting permissions on a Vilog. You can set your Vilog to public or private. A public Vilog is open to all users of Vilogs, while a private Vilog is open only to users that you specify. All Vilogs are public by default. Only moderators can control permissions. If you created a Vilog, you are automatically its moderator. You can set permissions from the Manage page. To reach to the Manage page, click on the gear icon beneath the video on the Vilogs Play page. To change privacy settings, click on the radial next to your preferred settings. If you want to make your Vilog private, enter the names of the participant you want to give access to in the box of participants. Note, users need to already be registered with Vilogs in order to find them in the system. You can also invite participants to join your Vilogs by emailing them the secure link to the Vilog. Don't forget to save your changes before navigating off on the Manage page. Rewardify. Rewardify.com is a powerful free online software that improves reading, learning, and teaching. This site can intelligently simplify difficult English for faster comprehension, effectively teach words for building a better vocabulary, help teachers save time and produce engaging lessons, help improve learning outcomes. Rewardify.com simplifies difficult English, and the hard, hard sentences or whole chapters into the yellow box at the top of the page. You can also enter website URL, click Rewardify text and you will instantly see an easier version for fast understanding. The rewarded words are highlighted, click them to hear and learn the original harder word. You can change how the highlighting works to match the way you learn. Learn more words faster. Our exclusive learning sessions actively teach you words so you learn them. Anytime you paste in a block of text, our software finds all the hard words, lets you pick which ones you want to learn and then teaches them to you in a learning session. A learning session isn't an online quiz. It is an effective step-by-step -step process where you hear words and phrases, type them and read them. The software reteaches you exactly what you need when you need it and moves ahead when you are ready. When you have learned a word, the site stops rewarding it so the site grows with you as, as you learn. ICT in language teaching becomes a must in this era. The world revolution demands the teachers to be more creative in using technology and in teaching and learning process. Technology, as its primary function designed to ease people's works, includes in teaching and learning. There are many studies conducted by the researcher about the benefit of using ICT in teaching English. Technology can be the proposed solution to solve the problems in ELT. After going through related literature, it perhaps that many researchers support the use of the mobile application in teaching and learning listening. Mobile devices offer many features that support teachers and students in teaching and learning English. The mobile device can be a solution to solve the problem faced in teaching and learning listening because of its mobility and accessibility, ease the learners to use in it and out of the classroom. Thus, it can increase students' motivation and it gives much opportunity to practice their listening skill.
Now let's discuss questions after our lecture. Enumerate a new information technology for reading and writing in English. Enumerate a new information technology for speaking and listening in, in English. E speaking, voice finger, tasty, pigston, as Ludwig, Isabel Perrot, word art, word it out, geo gesture, bilex, rewardify. Select one of these networks, explain how it works, videotape your work. Here you can see the list of references that you can use after our lectures and practical lessons. Thank you for your attention.